Good morning. Welcome to Daily Devotions with Pastor Joe. I'm Pastor Joe, and for this morning we're reading again in the book of Esther, Esther part 4, verse chapter 4, verses 1 through 17, where it says, When Mordecai perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes. Now, uh, remember, we're looking back to uh, Haman had just written a big law that said that all the Jews on a certain day of a certain month would be killed, and that all the people could do it, Whoever wanted to join in and be a part of it could, and that they, whoever killed a Jew was allowed to keep their stuff. So Mordecai, said, when he realized what was done, he ro- tore his clothes, he rent his clothes, and put on sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry, and came even before the king's gate, for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews, and fasting, and weeping, and wailing, and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved, and she sent raiment to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him, but he received it not. Then called Esther for Hatach, one of the king's chamberlains, whom he had appointed to attend upon her, and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know what it was and why it was. So Hattach went forth to Mordecai unto the streets of the city, which was before the king's gate, and Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him, and of the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. Also he gave him a copy of the writing of the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to show it unto Esther, and to declare it unto her, and to charge her that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him, and to make request before him for her people. And Hattach came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again Esther spake unto Hattach, and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that what whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner court, who is not called, there is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter, that he may live. But I have not been called to come in unto the king these thirty days. And they told to Mordecai Esther's words. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed, and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Then Esther bade them return to Mordecai's answer, this answer, Go Gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went his way, and did according to all that Esther had commanded him. And this is a very interesting turn in the story. So, uh, hey... Esther has gotten in to be the queen in replace, in replacement of the first queen, Vashti. Uh, Mordecai is now a guardian of the gate. He's one of the men who sits at the king's gate. And Haman, being promoted so far above all of the others, gets very bitter against Mordecai, ends up wanting to kill Mordecai, buttering up the king, creating a law that says that all the Jews are going to be killed on a certain day. Mordecai comes and cries at the king's gate, Wearing sackcloth and ashes, he can't come into the king's gate and do his job properly because he's mourning in sackcloth and ashes. So Esther uh, asks him, what's going on, Mordecai? Mordecai says, well, here's this law that was written to kill us. Esther says, well, what do you want me to do about it? He says, go to the king. She says, I can't. He hasn't even wanted to see me in 30 days, and if he doesn't want to see me when I come in, they're going to kill me. And so this is something that's a real fear for her. I mean, when you really consider that uh, Esther is replacing Vashti, who was, when she refused to dance for the king, was kicked out of the kingdom, it's something Esther could seriously be afraid of when you think about it. Because 
Esther uh, could easily be replaced by somebody else. The king's already done it before. Why wouldn't he do it again? And so she says, he hasn't wanted to see me in 30 days. Why on earth would I do that? It's against the law. Mordecai says, don't think that you're here in this place and that you're able to do nothing about this because you were set up in a specific place. Don't think that you have the right to not do something about this. God put you here for a reason. That's one of the things in, in the book of Esther, they never mention the name of God, but you sure can see his hand working and putting things into place, playing a game of chess, as it were, in the background, where he knows the end and he's putting the pieces where they need to be. Uh, here Esther is told by Mordecai, you're going to do something about this or you're going to lose too. God put you here for a specific reason. And you know what? Here's the thing. Mordecai had enough faith in God to say, you know, Esther, if you don't want to do your job, if you want to do, don't want to do your part in this, God's still going to, to bring deliverance. Don't know how, but he's going to bring deliverance, and you're just not going to have a part of it. So it's pretty exciting and interesting to think about how much faith Mordecai had. But then she says, uh, okay, I'll go in unto the king after you fast for me for three days, have all the Jews in Shushan fast for me for three days, nothing to eat, nothing to drink for three days, me and my maidens will do the same. And wouldn't you fast and pray for three days if you were really afraid that uh, you weren't going to make it through the next meeting that you had with your significant other? Uh, so here she is fasting for three days and three nights. Here he is fasting for three days and three nights. All of the Jews are fasting for three days and three nights. She says, if I die, I die. You know, I've got no other choice because if I don't do this, I'm probably going to die. If I do this, I might die. Hey, what have I got to, to lose either way? And Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commanded. So she is turning the to do the thing that he has done the whole time and to tell him here is something important that needs to be done and I need you to do it and here is is Mordecai doing exactly what Esther has done this whole time and obeying exactly what the her she has always obeyed what Mordecai has said now Mordecai is obeying what Esther has said and so it's kind of an interesting turn of events, an interesting twist on the story, because no longer is he the one in charge of things. He's saying, this is what you need to be doing. She says, okay, but I need this from you. So just as she has obeyed him the whole time, he's beginning to turn around and obey her. It's just, it's really an exciting story. And I have to ask, do you have the faith that Mordecai does today, that no matter whether everybody does exactly what they're supposed to do or not, you're still going to to serve the Lord, and he's going to, uh, he's going to take care of you. Do you have that kind of faith that God's going to take care of you no matter what the situation may be that you're facing? I hope you do, and I hope to see you again on another Daily Devotion with Pastor Joe tomorrow. If you uh, have the opportunity, comment down below. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. Um, and share this with a friend that you think could use this kind of content. God bless. Have a great day in the Lord. I'll see you tomorrow.